What's up YouTube, Mile High Campers coming back at you again with another video. On today's episode, we're going to be installing a large vinyl decal graphic on the hood of this truck. This is a how-to video to help out our customers who have purchased one of our hood decals. This decal and others are available on our online store, so be sure to check out those links in the description. Alright, so let's get into it. This is how our large decals come shipped. They're in a 3 inch by 3 inch by 24 inch box, and the decal is rolled up inside. All right, so let's go ahead and get our decal out of the box here. And as you can see, it's wanting to stay rolled up. So we're going to have to get it laid flat. And there's a couple ways we can do this. If you want to, you can go ahead and take the decal and put it on your kitchen table and lay some books on it to kind of flatten it back out. Or you can kind of work with the graphic as it is and we'll kind of force it flat here. And don't be concerned if you see some wrinkles here or, or here um, from folding it up. Unfortunately, um, this is the only way that we can ship these larger decals. So sometimes they can come out looking like they might have a wrinkle, but you should be okay. And I'm going to show you how that's going to work itself out as we get to the installation. All right, so for the purpose of this video, instead of installing this decal on the portion of the hood that's flat, I'm gonna install the decal on the area of the hood where we have some humps, where the hood is not flat and it has a raised area. That way you can see how to install it in case you have a hood like this that has the uh, raised area, which is a little bit more difficult of an installation. But that's why I wanted to do it, to show you the hard part. To install on a flat surface, you would do this same technique. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll move the graphic out of the way here, set it off to the side so we can get the hood clean. Ideally, you probably want to pressure wash your vehicle and then dry it really well before you do this. I didn't get a chance to run by the pressure washer, so I'm going to go ahead and use water, spray it on here just to kind of loosen everything up, uh, loosen all the light dirt on there, and then I'll come back and wipe it off with a paper towel. And I want to make sure I get a lot of water on here because I don't want to scratch the paint with the paper towel. So we'll just go ahead and get it all wiped down. I'll probably spray it one more time and wipe it down again. And just, again, use your own judgment. Be gentle. Uh, it's your vehicle. You don't want to scratch it up. Like I said, the ideally, you probably want to go to the pressure washer and spray it down and dry it off first and then begin the installation. Once the surface is nice and dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to use denatured alcohol. I've always used denatured alcohol since I've been doing vehicle graphics and it's never damaged any paint. But if denatured alcohol makes you uncomfortable, go ahead and you can use Windex or something like that. We just want to make sure that the surface is completely clean, free of any wax or free of any Rain-X. Both of those things, wax and Rain-X, will keep the vinyl from sticking to the surface. So the denatured alcohol just really gets the surface clean. Like I said, you can use Windex if you're not comfortable with denatured alcohol. Just make sure you get that surface clean and dry. Next, let's go ahead and get our graphics set up where we want it. Again, I'm going to be installing it on the side of the hood that has the raised portion. It's the harder installation, but uh, I want to show you guys how to do it. We're going to get the graphic nice and flat and just kind of smooth it out. And get it nice and flat, especially where we're going to tape it. And as you can see, it's a fairly large raised portion here that we're going to be working over. Once we get it positioned where we want, we're going to go ahead and tape it. And we're going to tape it down the middle, uh, going parallel to where the humps are. We do not want to tape it horizontal in this case because it'll make it almost impossible to install. We do not want to run the tape over the raised portion of the hood. Again, taping it down the center of the graphic. We'll be installing this using the what is known as the hinge method. And we'll be able to go right over the raised portions with no problem. Once we have the graphic taped into place, we'll need to use a plastic sign squeegee to squeegee the decal onto the hood. If you don't have a squeegee, you can use a credit card or something like that. will work just fine. Now we'll go ahead and separate the mask material from the backing paper. The mask is there to hold the graphic in place. Once we get it pulled up to the tape of the hinge, we'll go ahead and make a little tear and then you can just 
gradually kind of tear the backing paper off. You can also use a pair of scissors here if you'd like, just be careful that you don't scratch your paint. And if you're a beginner, a pair of scissors might be the best thing to use here so that when you actually start to tear the backing paper away, you don't accidentally uh, cause the graphic to shift. Now, as you can see, we have the hinge portion here and uh, we're gonna hinge it up pretty high and then we're gonna start squeegeeing from the middle down, middle up, and we're gonna continue that pattern all the way up until we hit the ridge of the raised portion. There are a couple ways you could do this. You could wet mount, uh, you could use water underneath the graphic. That allows you to install without bubbles, but if you do this uh, with a little bit of patience, you should still be able to install without bubbles and without uh, having to use the wet mount. I don't prefer wet mounting, I like doing it this way. As you can see, I've switched now from middle out and I'm slowly working the graphic down around the hump and I'm trying to create as few wrinkles in the mask as I can. And then once I get it to a place, I'm just gonna go ahead and squeegee it right on out. And I'm only gonna be squeegeeing on the graphic portion once I've got it down over the hump and just kind of working it down. Once I've got it all squeegeed down, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it one more time and just really work it all down. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove the tape. We no longer need it, and then we're gonna be able to do the other side. And when we get going here on the other side, again, we're gonna use the hinge method, and the hinge method is just a matter of keeping the vinyl up off of the hood where you're not squeegeeing basically. You don't want to let that portion that's not being squeegeed down touch the hood. And you just work your way middle out. And it's actually, it's kind of hard to tell from this camera angle, but the the hinge portion is actually fairly close to the hood. You don't want to keep it too high because that can also cause you problems. And as we work our way to the hump, we lower it. And then, of course, we're going to go again and just kind of work it down however we can once we get to the hump. There's a little less here than on the other side. And we'll just slowly work it down and then come back and squeegee the graphic. And then once it's down, we'll come back and go over the entire thing one more time and just make sure it's all squeegeed down before we remove the mask. Okay, so once we've got it all squeegeed down really well, now we're going to come back and peel the transfer mask off. Now you can add a little water here if you want to. You don't have to. Sometimes the water helps release the transfer tape from the vinyl. And here I'm just kind of moving the water around on the transfer mask, getting it spread around. Now I'm just going to pick a piece of mask and just slowly start to peel the mask off. And you want to kind of go slow just in case there's a piece of vinyl that isn't all the way down. Sometimes you can peel the vinyl back off of the hood or the surface um, if it's still staying stuck to the transfer mask. So just peel with caution, basically. Peel slow, and if for some reason a piece of vinyl does start to come up with the transfer mask, just go ahead and squeegee that part back down and then slowly work the mask off of that piece, and it should come off just fine and as you can see it's looking pretty good not too many bubbles I think I see three or four little bubbles which won't be a problem to take care of uh, sometimes you don't even have to worry about the little tiny bubbles uh, they'll come out as the Sun has a chance to kind of bake the graphic on the vinyl will uh, get hot stretch and that sometimes those bubbles will just disappear but we're gonna go ahead and take care of a few of these all you need is an exacto knife and basically you just kinda poke a little tiny hole in the bubble and then just kinda work the air out of the bubble with your finger just like this give it a little poke use your finger to work out the air and you should be good we'll just go ahead and take care of the few that are here
All right, so that's all there is to installing one of these graphics, you guys. I hope that was helpful for all of you who have been so gracious to purchase from our store. I really appreciate all the support, and thank you so much. And if you haven't had a chance to check out our store, be sure to check out the links in the description. Go check it out. we got some cool stuff on there. And, guys, as always, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.